So, ladies and gentlemen, have you ever wanted to make a nuclear reactor in Factoria, but only have it so it takes one cell fuel if it's required, and so it doesn't consume any more than it actually needs? Well, here's a very quick video how to do it. Actually, I made an even faster video. If you wanna watch this short, it's in the description of the video. It's only one minute. My reason for this being a very quick video is that older the YouTube videos are about 20 minutes long and I don't need a full setup, I just want to show you how to do this thing. So, for this very quick uh, setup we are going to need at least one storage tank, we are going to need uh, at least two fast inserters, we are going to need some sort of electric pole, which for this experiment I'm gonna use substations, you're gonna need uh, at least uh, four green wires and then you're of course now gonna need your nuclear reactor. So, how does this setup work? Basically, uh, when you use a nuclear reactor you create heat, from heat exchangers you create steam. Uh, in every good uh, nuclear reactor you should always have some storage tanks which basically work as um, a backup. When you make too much steam uh, it just doesn't go away, it gets stored in these tanks. And when your reactor is uh, not working, you will still have some steam to be used for your uh, turbines. And this is actually required if you want this setup to work. Basically, the way it works is that you have your two inserters, one to insert fuel and then one to take out a used fuel. And you want to ideally put only one fuel at a time and when you actually need it, so not when uh, the heat is at one at, at 1000. The way how this setup works is that when you have your excess steam you have it in a storage tank and when uh, your turbines are working the storage uh, goes away and basically we are gonna set some parameters that when enough steam uh, is out of the storage tank uh, your machine activates only then. So it's not working when it's full and here's how to do it. First, you're gonna take the green wire, or you can use the red, it doesn't matter, and you will connect it to the storage tank of your choice. Ideally, somewhere at the end or at the middle, because the closer it is to the pipe, the faster it will get used. After that, you will connect it to your electrical pole, and after that, you will connect it to the inserter that takes the used fuel out. And from that, you will connect it to the inserter that puts the new fuel in. Right now, we are done with the green wires and we are gonna need to do some setups. First, we will click on the inserter that is supposed to take the empty fuel out. And we will have to set some stuff. First, we will click on the read hand contents. After that, we will click on the overrides text size and we will set it to 1. After that, we will change the hand read mode to hold. And finally, we will set the enable condition so that when there is less than, uh, let's just say, 14,000 steam, because that's usually when uh, you should start heating up your reactors if they're like completely dead. After this, we will click on the fast inserter that inserts the new fuel in and we will click on override stack size. This is extremely important and we will also set it to 1. After that, we will click on the enable conditions and we will find the used up uranium fuel cell. And we will click and put the parameters that it's equal to 1. Because I had it equal to 0, it was actually true because uh, this was outputting 0, so it activated and it put some uranium <laughs> fuel cell in that we didn't want to. But actually, it's okay, because we need one used up for the exam, for the machine to start. So I have decided to sped up time a bit. We have our used up uranium fuel cell in the reactor, and we have also enough uh, stored uh, steam in the storage tank. But uh, now, the machine can basically start uh, for it to start working, you need to have the at least one used uranium cell in the machine. Uh, and then you uh, can basically either wait for the storage tank to get used up by your turbines, or for the sake of an example, I'm gonna flush the steam out of it. Please look at the reactor. Boom. Because there is not enough steam in the storage tank, uh, our condition was finally basically true, that, so meaning that this 
uh, inserter was able to activate and take out the used up uh, fuel cell. When it was uh, taken out, uh, it was equal that it was holding at least one fuel cell. Uh, and this inserter was able to activate, meaning that it put exactly one, because we set it to one, which is very important. We set it to one, so it put in one uh, uranium fuel cell. And now, our machine works as intended. The nuclear reactor will now uh, only consume one fuel cell, and uh, it will only do that when you're running out of backup storage steam. This design has only one uh, weakness and that is um, you constantly need to have uh, fuel on the line for the inserter to insert in. The moment that there is not enough uh, fuel or not at all in this example uh, the used up fuel will get taken out which will activate the inserter but because it has nothing to put in it will it won't and now you're stuck. This is the only disadvantage but because uh, how cheap uh, uranium fuel is, it shouldn't matter that much to you. For preparation for the next video, I will try to fix this issue, but uh, I have been trying for about an hour. And let me tell you, uh, the circuits are very hard. So maybe if you're a vector in, in Factorio and you know a way with circuits, you could uh, comment it down below. Uh, if not, I'm gonna try to work on it and hopefully will work for you as well. <laughs> Thank you for watching and see you see you next time.